What's up, you guys? Jordy here for Cinecom.net, and today Adobe Premiere Pro released a new version of their software. I'm looking at the article right here where they announced a new update, and you can see it right here, available today. So if you have Creative Cloud, you can update to the latest Premiere Pro version right now. And uh, they call it the Spring 2017 update. Uh, so let's have a look. We've been having access to this version for quite a while now. We are in the beta program. And because Premiere released it today, we are also allowed now to actually show you guys some actual footage of this new software and some new functionality of the stuff that you can do. So I'd like to show you guys five new features that this spring update can give you. First of all, the way that you make texts in Premiere Pro is now differently. First, you had to create text through the titler, but now you'll see in your toolbox right here that we have the text tool built in right in here. And from there, we can kind of just start typing right in the program monitor like so. We don't need to open up a separate window. So this is a lot more convenient. So we can just start typing in here, for example, um, this text goes here. And uh, we can just then take the arrow tool and just drag that around, reposition it where we want. And uh, with this layer selected, you will see that it creates a new layer. This is actually a graphic layer, but we'll go deeper into that in just a minute. Uh, if you select that layer, you will see then right in here in the uh, effects controls and the properties of that layer, you can then right in here change all the stuff. Things like the font, the color, etc. You know, pretty cool as well. As I said before, this is a graphical layer, a graphic layer. So that means you can also create shapes through this. You can take the pen tool and just start drawing shapes in your program monitor. Bang, and you got yourself a pretty awesome shape. Also here, you can see here the text now graphic, a new layer has been added again, and we can change this. And the cool thing is we can also animate this. We can uh, create a keyframe for the path of this shape and then go a little bit further in time, select that again, and we can kind of just change that shape. You can also give it a drop shadow, everything that you want to have. And now you will see that kind of animates that shape. So this is a whole new kind of workflow to create graphics and texts inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And this brings me to the second awesome feature within Premiere Pro Spring 2017. And that is a, an, an entire new window actually. And it's called the Essentials. I have to look here. Essential Graphics. <laughs> I was thinking about animation, but it's just called Essential Graphics. Click on that and you will see here on the right side, something new will appear just like Lumetri. You also have it on the right side. And I'm going to click here on edit. You will see that I have my layer in here, shape. And this is actually that one shape layer that I've created in here, but pretty cool. And this is really something awesome here. I can actually just click in here to add a new layer. And I can, for example, select a new text and that will create a new text layer. But you will see here in your timeline now that no new layer has been added. What's actually done here is I have two separate layers within one element in my timeline. And this also makes the whole workflow a lot more convenient. So I can just delete that other text that I had before and just work on that single graphic layer in here. You will see here in your properties as well, in the effects controls, that's two effects kind of have been applied. So we've got a shape effect and a text effect. And we can change everything here in the sides panel. So that is the styles, uh, the fill, the color, the, the fun style, everything that you would like. And we can create as much layers as we want in here. So we can create another rectangle if I want so. I can reposition that if I want to. So this is very cool to have. And this feature again brings me to the third awesome new thing within Adobe Premiere and that are motion graphic templates. And this is not just some new update guys. This is really awesome. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to head over to graphic here on top and I'm going to say install motion graphic templates. And I'm going to locate here something on my computer here on my desktop. And I've got here this folder where I'm working in. Right here, this is a file that I have created myself inside Adobe After Effects. And I was able to export something from there into a template file. And let me just double click on that for a moment. And that will import that into the Essential Graphic Browser. So just click on that. And it's right here, you can find that template now. Now I can just drag that here into my timeline like so. It will kind of load it into this project. There we go. This comes from After Effects. You can see that we have an awesome animation right here. This is something that is not so convenient to create in Premiere Pro. So that's why it was created in After Effects. But here comes the awesome thing. With this layer selected and with the Essential Graphics panel open, I can change everything in here that I want. So I don't have to go to After Effects. I don't need to have any knowledge of After Effects to use these kinds of templates. So we can just type in anything in here, for example, Cinecom. And uh, let me just pick out the red color from Cinecom. Something like this. 
also for the right color. And you can also give the square that comes in here also a different color. Let's take that blue. Doesn't look good, but that doesn't matter because we can change stuff in here. Look how awesome that this is. And this opens a whole new world on how templates and presets work, guys. We are definitely going to make a lot of templates for you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button because they are coming soon. Definitely. All right, let's head over to the fort feature. And this has nothing to do anymore with graphics and titles. We've got all that out of the way now. I'm going to scroll a bit more to the right side here. Perhaps just delete that. Uh, template right here. This right here is just some text we're going to interview from Kim and some music below that. Now previously if you wanted to enhance the audio here you had to go into the effects and kind of look for those plugins and kind of mix them together to get the right thing that you were looking for. But now you can go back to window here on top and we're going to click on essential sound. And uh, there are a couple of cool things in here. We can add presets from here. So we can, add, for example, say for the dialogue, well, what we want to have here is um, make the voice more up close. So uh, I'm going to click on that. That will add a bunch of effects here. You can also see it in the effects controls here. It added to de -esser, vocal enhancer and some other awesome things. It does that all for you. Plus, we can change all of these parameters also in that Essential Sound panel. So that means we don't have to fumble anymore within these effects. And by clicking on the Edit button all the time, going into separate pop-ups, now we can just have everything down below each other here. We can uh, enable, disable certain effects in here. We can change whatever that we want right in here. We can change here. Well, she's not a male, she's a female, so I'm going to change that as well to female. So we can just change everything in a very convenient way or right in here. And the same goes for the music. And here's another cool thing, you can kind of auto mix this with the speech of Kim by selecting that music layer and then kind of click here on auto match under the loudness and that will bring the volume down and if I'm going to play this then her speech should be heard well together with the music. Hello, my name is Kim and I am a speech language pathologist. I help children with language, articulation, math, reading, grammar problems. Awesome guys. And this is going to bring me to the last and final feature that is pretty awesome. By the way, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can read like the entire press release of Adobe and find out all the tiny features that they've added as well into it. I'm going to head over to my project panel because you know, I've shot this great new short film right here where Kim is running, but this shot, you know, I'm not going to use this, but it's still pretty awesome this shot. So I don't really want to throw it away. So what I can kind of do is uh, right here in my footage, and uh, right here is that clip. I'm going to double click on that. What I can kind of do now is put this clip on the Adobe stock market and sell it. So I didn't shot this for nothing. I can still kind of earn a little money with this. So I'm going to head over to File, Export, Media, because that's what I want to do with this clip. And this is just the same old export window that we are familiar with, but under the Publish tab right here, look what we have right here, guys. An Adobe stock option and you have to be logged in, of course. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to log in here for a moment, sign in, and as I'm doing so, I've now authorized the application. And once I'm going to hit on export, it will also upload this shot right here to Adobe Stock so that people can purchase this clip from me so that I can earn a little money from that. And basically anyone with a Creative Cloud account can do this. So that was it, guys. These were the five top new features within Adobe Premiere Pro spring 2017. Thank you folks so much for watching. We are going to cover a lot more tutorials about these features more in depth, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, stay creative.